From Diamond 3, Y Guy skipped Diamond 2 and went straight up to Diamond 1. These are the games that he played off camera. Now he's finally on his master promos. I hope today goes as nicely for him as it did in the last episode. Will thy ever blesseth us with thy divine pa pa camera once more? What do you mean? I was here the whole time. No but seriously, I'm not sure if I can anymore, my body has changed over the past 3 years, particularly my eyes. I need to wear thick glasses now, I guess playing video games in the dark at 3 in the morning finally caught up to me. Wydra's voice turned from father figure, to a cultist priest. Father figure question mark. I see, that explains the super long cigarette break. But like every father, he's going to come back. Right guys. I've had trouble hitting my R's recently, as if my skill on pike declined, what should I do? I believe I'm not alone when I say this, that us pike mains, there's those days when you're just cursed. No abilities were landing, bad decision making, always getting caught even though you had flash up, an invisibility that gives massive move speed, and a dash. I had this one pike game that fits the category of all that I mentioned. What worked for me was using a different champion that is somewhat comparable to Pike, but simpler, which for my case is Blitzcrank. I played two Blitz games to clear my head before returning to Pike, before I knew it, I was landing most of my skill shots. Emphasis on the word most. That ash arrow almost hit our protagonist, but thankfully, Y Guy dropped an ad in the middle of the fight and decided to go back for it. Too bad he didn't get any assists though. When the game reached mid-game, Y Guy roams to top lane for a gank, but to his surprise, he wasn't the only one who had this idea. It is such a relief to see Lucian hold his ground after Y Guy left him alone. It gives our protagonist motivation to carry on with his mission to kill Jax. The best thing about the double gold being removed, the frustration of missing an R is not double anymore.
I don't think giving a Prowler's Claw Trindamir a free dash by hooking him is the right play. Good thing Lux literally became the light of hope for all that mess. That's one victory secured. Wait a minute, from what I remember, you need three wins for a successful master promos. However, it appears that we only need one more win now. They really made climbing in season 13 easy didn't they? That hook could never have landed, but did you guys see that? That's Lord Wydra striking fear into his opponent's hearts. Why guys plot armor manifesting once again, unfortunately for the enemy team, they're about to experience the consequence of letting our protagonist survive. Normally Lord Wydra will reciprocate with mercy as well, but it's his master promos.
At long last, Waigai returns to his former glory in Masters.